Hey guys, the BP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Creality's laser module that literally takes your Ender 3 variety of versions and turns it into a laser so that you can laser engrave using your 3D printer. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now one of the cool things about the Creality laser module that we're about to see right now is that as you'll notice right here, the printer is actually off. This is a Ender 3 Max Neo. And the actual unit itself is kind of self-powered with the brain that I'll show you in a couple seconds. I'm calling it the brain or the control uh, center for the actual laser expansion kit. So this is a 10 watt laser. Uh, it focuses, and we already have it focused, it focuses using one of these guys right here where you put underneath um, the material that you're either gonna cut and engrave. And then what you do is you connect it to several points, right? So you're connecting it to either your X. Well, it's not either. You're going to be connecting to your X and your Y, disconnecting the actual uh, la uh, printer itself, uh, and then connecting all the components of the laser. Now, the cool thing also is that you'll notice that my print head is still here, which means uh, I'm not going to change my leveling. I'm not going to change any of the settings that I have. So once I switch from laser engraver back to printer, it just works because, again, they're, they're like two different... Uh, two different systems right now uh, that are not even interacting with each other because of how the actual box that's right here, you'll see that in a second, is actually controlling what's going on here. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I have already Lightburn installed, and I actually have a licensed version of Lightburn. So what I'm doing is a frame just to see the area that I'm going to be engraving. And you saw how it just went through that box area. That's telling me the area that's going to engrave. Now, what I'm going to do next is... I'm going to hit the engrave or the start option. And what it's going to start to do is it's going to start to engrave. And we're going to say uh, yes. And what you'll see is that it's starting right now to, to burn or to engrave. Now, this is working really well. I've been surprised how nicely it works. Now, there's a couple components that are here in play. First of all, you see this is a honeycomb board that or a honeycomb frame that basically uh, is metal and it provides a space between your bed uh, and then also the material that you're uh, burning. If you're cutting wood, for example, it also allows things to aerate so that you basically don't have to deal with a lot of flare-ups. And by the way, this kit does come with something that's called air assist so that as you're starting to cut wood, you really don't have to worry about a lot of flare-ups or any kind of the burning of the material because it's blowing air as it's cutting. Now this is going to go through and do this entire pattern. You're going to see this in a couple seconds as it's doing the actual engraving. Uh, there's also underneath this a metal uh, shield that's protecting it. Now I have a PEI sheet. You don't want to use this just with the PEI sheet. You want the metal shield that comes with the actual uh, plate that you see here on top. And then uh, those three layers, or actually those two layers, are going to give you the right laser engraving surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to just let it run and we'll see what it was able to engrave. Now, as you saw, the laser engraver does a really nice job when it comes to engraving um, this specific slate. You'll notice that these are the power settings. So this is 10% all the way up to 100%. And then over here, you have the speed in which the laser is operating. And you'll notice that you know, it's relatively fast, and it's going to give you a really nice engrave, depending, again, on the type of shade or color that you want. So this is going to do really well when it's doing uh, slates. But it also works well when it comes to wood. Now there's one other thing that we have going on here that I'm gonna bring on camera, and that is this uh, device right here, which is called an air assist uh, solution. So what air assist does is it pumps air um, through this area here uh, that you'll see in a second through the actual laser. And let's, uh, let's pan a little bit so you can see that right there. So it's gonna basically pump air as the laser is cutting. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you very clean and pristine cuts. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's a piece of wood that we engraved. And you're gonna notice how clean the words are. So you notice how crisp the word Creality is right here. Laser module, uh, e Human Tech Reviews. And look at how nice and clean this is. Now, what the reason why this looks this way that you can see right there is because we had the air assist on. So the air assist made sure that as it was burning, right, it was basically preventing it from flaming up. And you can again see how nice and crisp that is. It's almost like if it was written, not cut. And this is actually, this actually has, has some, some depth to it, right? Now, let me show you what would happen if you did not have air assist on. So these are some pieces of wood that we cut and I turned off air assist. Now you see this on the side here, this is charring that took place. So basically as it was heating up, 
it was actually burning. I'm going to give you another example here. This is, again, what happens when you don't have air assist on. So it really changes the amount of work that you have to go through when you're engraving or cutting uh, material. I can turn on air assist if I wanted to uh, when I was doing the slate as well. In some cases I do. When I do slate engraving, sometimes I turn on air assist because it does help keep things a little bit cleaner. Uh, but for the wood is where I find that I see the most value because it goes from something that's like this and you can see kind of like the burning on the side, which by the way, I can sand that off, but I'm trying to do stuff where it's the minimal amount of work to something that looks like this, right? It's a huge difference, okay? Now, the last thing that we'll highlight is the actual control box here. Uh, we'll go ahead and pan a little bit over. Now, this is everything that's required to make this solution work, right? And, you know, with all the cabling that's going on here. So, pretty simple. You have USB coming out of this. You then also have power. And when I mentioned that you don't even have to even, uh, you're not even changing anything that has to do with the actual printer itself, because the actual printer module itself, the, the brain, as you would put it, for the printer, isn't really functioning. This is driving, again, the X axis or the Y axis, depending on, on what you're doing, everything is happening here. It's like having two different machines. So this is actually like leveraging all of the tech that this has to run the laser. And I thought that's pretty ingenious right here. So you have your power switch here, and then you'll notice that you have a, uh, a micro SD slot as well. But I was running this using Lightburn. So really what it comes down to it is that this solution gives you the ability to convert uh, literally the Creality laser or the Creality 3D printers into a laser engraving machine for a hobbyist that's looking to just create some cool things like what you see here or if you'd like to be able to cut material like you see there. So a lot of options for you. Highly recommend considering the solution if you're wanting to extend again the usage of your uh, 3D printer beyond just 3D printing. So guys that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.